What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make Rapashi superfoods for fish. Um, I have Spawn and Grow here and this is a new line of food that I highly recommend and uh, we'll get into it. So here we have my 4 ounce container of Rapashi superfoods Spawn and Grow formula. Um, good for growing out fry obviously and it's high in um, protein and fat. And if we look at it closer, we have inside a powder, let me turn on the flash here, powder consistency you can see and um, in the end we're gonna have a gel which is much easier for the fish to eat so we'll show you guys how to get that gel. Now we want to find out how much food we want to make. For me I don't need that much seeing how I only have to feed my fry um, so I'm not going to be using the recipe written on the bag um, but that recipe is three-fourths cup of water and one-fourth cup of the food. And that'll make a good consistency for the gel and um, that's the ratio you want to follow, which is one part food and three parts water. For me, since I don't need that much food because it does make a lot, um, I'm using one teaspoon. So one teaspoon powder and three teaspoons of water to keep the one to three ratio and um, I'll go on to show you what we have to do next. I now have my three tablespoons of water inside my uh, measuring cup here and then what we're going to do next is bring it to a boiling temperature. I'm going to be using the microwave and for this much water I'm probably only going to microwave it for like a minute but um, I guess it just depends on how much you're making because more water is longer time to get boiling so make sure you have that sorted out. Make sure to have your rapashi food ready before you boil the water um, if you don't, it's, you're going to take the water out and then it's going to cool down by the time you get your food portioned out. So make sure to do this before. Now that you have your water boiling, you want to take your powder and dump it into the water. And try and be quick because it will cool down quickly. And you're just going to mix it up here. You can see it's still liquid and you want to make sure it's all mixed in. If you'd like, you can transfer your mix into another container so it's easier to separate up and portion out, say an ice tray or something of that nature. And um, But I'm going to be keeping mine in this, and I'm going to let it set in this, and then I'll just take it out of here once it's ready. I prefer to put my mix in the refrigerator so it sets a little bit quicker. Um, that's just my personal preference. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to or not. But for me, it's worked, so uh, you can do as you like. If you have cichlids or you want to get creative, um, you can also mold this food to various uh, surfaces like a rough rock or basically any other rough surface. Um, you can make feeding stations so the fish recognize where to eat and it also makes feeding a little cleaner. Um, you can mold it to a string even. Um, you could put a cup and then put a string on the bottom of the cup and then pour the food in and the food will mold right onto the string. You can do that and then hang it. Um, you can shred the food so it's easier to eat um, and it floats around a little bit. And there's just a bunch of ways to um, feed this food. Very versatile. So, I mean, uh, you can do as you want um, and test it out a little bit. Find what works for you. I just like to cut it up into individual, like, small pieces, as you've seen, and uh, feed that. And they fry just go up and take it down. So, um, yeah, really good food, guys. Uh, and I'll come back when the Here we have the final product. Um, you can see it's a gel, not a powder or a liquid anymore. And um, it's ready to feed to the fish. The fish really do love the food. You can see a few munching on it right here. Um, for my fry, I just cut up a cube and put it in the tank and they pretty much do the rest. Um, I've seen growth already um, and it's only been like a week uh, with feeding this food. So they really do enjoy it. Um, the adults eat it even. Um, a little bit but yeah I really highly recommend this food you might as well try it out it's just it's a good option for breeders if you have a bunch of fish um, it's easy to prepare and it just saves money in the long run so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video please leave it a like and please subscribe